Hello and welcome to Creative Nerds. Today I've got a quick tip to show you on how to create a letterpress text effect using Photoshop. So let's jump straight into it. We're going to start off by selecting Fall, New, set a width up of 800 pixels and a height of 600 pixels. Set to your OK button. Maximize the canvas. We're going to change the background color to A3, A2, A2. Select your OK button, grab the paint bucket tool, fill in the canvas. I'm then going to change the foreground color once again, this time to 60, 60, 60, a slightly darker gray. We're going to select your OK button. We're then going to grab the type tool and simply write out some type. For the sake of the tutorial, we're going to write letterpress, but you can pretty much do whatever you, you want. We're going to ensure the font selected is Futura HV, but any large bold font will work just as well. And we're going to select a font size of 90 pt. We're then going to right click on letterpress, blending options. We're going to select the opacity to be 100%, we want the fill opacity to be 53%. We want the drop shadow to be white. We want to set a blend mode of normal. We want the opacity to be 41%. We want an angle of 120. Distance 1. Spread 0. Size 0. We want to select inner shadow. Multiply to be the blend mode. The color black, opacity to be 52%. 52. We want a distance of 2. Choke 0, size 3. Then, last but not least, gradient overlay. We want the gradient to be black to white. We want to change the blend mode to normal. Opacity to be 15%. We want the linear, we want the style to be linear and scale it down to 100. Once that's done, select your OK button and there you go. We created the letterpress text effect which just took less than a few minutes to achieve the final outcome. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Creative Nerds for further quick tips. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at the bottom of the page. Thanks for watching and see you soon.